What's going on guys? My name is Nick Hellman aka The Crypto Hitman and I want to do a quick video on Pulse Chain focusing on Pulse X, PLSX and of course PLS later in the video. Let's start off by saying uh, the founder Richard Hart did just make a tweet. 2x price in 4 days was cool. 10 and 15% a day is also cool. Goldpulse.com hashtag Ethereum. Trying to point out that his Ethereum clone with modifications is much cheaper, much more efficient, and is providing much more upside here in this bull market. So let's take out a look at the numbers. In the past 24 hours, PLS is up 8.61%, PulseX up 12.6%, INC up 14.9%, and HEX up 5.9%. The last time I did a video on this ecosystem, about 45 days ago, I told you I would want to be rotating into PulseX. I believe PulseX is actually going to outperform all of the other assets. And now let's see if that has been the case. 24 hours, that is the case. INC has been a major underperformer, so that's kind of an outlier there. Seven days, PulseX up 80%, Pulse only up 62%, and HEX up 70%. Again, INC up 99%, but this thing absolutely plummeted since the last time I did a video and told you not to own any. And 30 days out, Pulse up 82%. Hex up 98% and Pulse X up 117%. So the prediction was correct. Overall, though, the entire ecosystem is rising based on Hart's Law or what people call Hart's Law in this ecosystem. Essentially, the liquidity pairing. All of these assets are paired together with liquidity. So when one moves, it helps the others move as well. Let's take a look at the PLSX chart. You do notice that 3.18% of the supply has been burnt. 653 billion PulseX has been burned. Essentially, PulseX is the decentralized exchange, similar to Uniswap, PancakeSwap, QuickSwap, in which the PulseX is the uh, transaction fee gas, and a percentage of this is burnt for every transaction fee. So this is like owning the casino. Essentially, the more meme coins, the more projects, the more trading that occurs on Pulse Chain using that DEX, the more of these bad boys get burnt. And they are already in full circulating supply, meaning there is no more new PulseX to be created or hit the market. What's out there is out there. It is only going to be burnt, creating that deflationary token economics we love. Let's look at the chart here. Last video we did on this, you can see the markings. Here is the SEC drop, this price level. We had this uh, cup and handle. This major cup came up here to form the handle. It rallied like we predicted. Now we had kind of a bad or a false breakout. We broke out, we sustained above this neckline here, just couldn't get any price action going. This is when Bitcoin was uh, kind of floundering, pulse chain, we're still with the SEC things going on, not much news coming out, and I think people kind of saw this. They knew people would be getting long into this potential cup and handle, and the Jeets were taking advantage of those and trying to sell on top of it. You see this uptrend line right here. And this critical support line here in green, these are not changed. These are the same drawings from however many days ago since October when I drew all these. That's what's crazy about technical analysis. If you're dead on, your lines, you can extend them as time goes on and they're going to remain valid and important. Because what do we see? We got rejected here as the false breakout for this cup and handle happened. We came down to this uptrend line, which is a critical. I was talking about how if we break above that. We're going to see an impulse move higher. What happened? We broke above, impulse move higher. Retested, where did we stop? Uptrend line, green line, and making a handle for this cup and handle. Pretty perfect. I'm going to do these updates more for you guys over Pulse Chain because I know you guys liked it. Everything worked out great. I just didn't do it very often because for Pulse Chain, at least, we have a couple alts that we're looking at. That's a different video, but for the most part, I'm holding Pulse PLS and PLSX and, and riding it higher. Bigger weighting on PLSX because, like I said, I thought it's going to start outperforming which it has as we saw by the 30-day performance anyways came back down here uptrend line held it we saw an impulse rally what happened here hovering around this uptrend line again once it gave way crushed where to go this green breakout line very important this was resistance here 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 and here before it broke out that's why it becomes support support rallied off of it rejected on this uptrend line and again came down support now what has been causing this impulse move higher? One thing is the levels. Another thing is the, the strength of Bitcoin itself. But the last thing, of course, is the God Whale or the Sacrifice Address has started deploying funds into buying HEX, PLS, and PLSX, which is driving this price higher. 
the God Whale, the Sacrificer, Richard Hart himself. Nobody really knows. We'll call him the Satoshi of Pulse Chain. I'm sure he'll get a different name. We'll call him the God Whale. Has been deploying and has been buying, swapping ETH, bridging it to Pulse Chain, and buying Pulse X and Pulse and Hex. That is what happened. Driving price higher, taking out the uptrend line, taking out this previous neckline, and look where the measured move went. The measured move is right back here to the pre-SCC dump level. The next move, of course, will be up here. These are the levels for the uh, possible cup and handle failure. That, that would have been the breakout target. We are working on that today with this impulse we just had. Again, not quite there. And then, of course, the all-important levels, the next real big level is going to be in here. Now, why do I say that this is the next important level, Nick? Well, you can see here. Resistance, 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 support, support, and if you zoom in, this is, these are wicks. This was also resistance here on the first ever launch of Pulse Chain and Pulse X. So this is the next critical level. We do see the breakout here, slightly higher high. In the short term, though, we need to find some follow through, get some new bridgers, or get the Godwill to buy more. Because if you see this higher price, great, but RSI still lacking. So if price action stops right here, right now. This would be a bearish divergence in which you're going to have drop down level where you're going to want to support this zone here. Da, 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 da. Where is the rectangle? I'm having a brain fart, folks. Here it is. This is the zone in which you would want price to hold. Or if you don't own any, this is a zone where you'd want to be buying. Okay? 100%. Let's go back to Richard's tweet here. 2x price in four days is cool. That's when they deployed a ton of a ton of money. 10 to 15% a day is also cool. So now I expect that we got back here to SEC prices. Now we're just going to let people sell out, let the weak hand sell out, and we're going to try to keep grinding higher, either by current users buying more due to FOMO, bridging in new users, people understanding that, hey, this is a great opportunity, bringing in new funds, and, of course, the God Whale supporting critical price levels and buying the dips and continuing to grind us higher to these next levels. All right? Everything's playing out great. Now let's see what this meant for PLS. PLS is a little more interesting. Why is that? Well, this is the SEC breakdown level here. So when the SEC reared their ugly head. Right there. Look where we're at. Right at the SEC level. What else are we at, though? Let's look at this number right here. What else are we at? You guys know what this is because it's everywhere. This is... The sacrifice price. This is what people paid to get into PLS minus the bonuses. So we are right there. You notice we wicked there. Big whale sold off. We're here again. We're wicked. It's so far it's selling off. So once we start getting beyond that level, we got big things to come. Then again, the next critical area for Pulse is not as clear because you're going to say here, but that's not much of a move. And the reason you say here... Is the next level that matters is because what do you got you got the tops of these so you got resistance 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 you also had it support here back in the day so that's kind of a decent area but the next major one you know you start to look up here right and then you move it again and we start to look up here in this area you got both of them here these are kind of just levels I'm looking at. We'll see what the TA looks like along the way. Again, the downside to this at price action we're seeing so far is you are coming into major resistance because this is where people sacrifice. So all the Gs are like, oh my God, I'm break even. Plus I earned a little passive income or my bonuses. They're selling. They're getting all their money back from the last bull market because we sacrificed like over two years ago. And if price stops here, we do have a bearish divergence here in price. Again, you would want to uh, hold and buy. In somewhere around this area. If you don't have a position, if it comes down here, good time to buy. If you're looking at TA and you really want to hold in here, if you're a long huddle position, then don't worry about it. This is all just noise. But we know that the God Whale, the OA wallet, whatever, is going to try to keep this thing up and to the right, making that hockey stick going up 5, 10, 15% a day would be nice. We'll see how much. Uh, they let the Jeets get shaken out here. Because they let everybody get shaken out, shaken out. SEC, shaken out, shaken out, shaken out. Look at all this volume. Shaken out, shaken out. 
Came up here. Wick, let him get shaken out. Came up here again. Wick, let him get shaken out. Now we're coming here again. Will he let him get shaken out? He's giving it some time here. Let's see if some more buys come in and start moving us towards these other directions. When Pulse Chain goes up, it pulls PLSX and Hex. When Pulse X goes up, it pulls Hex and PLS. When PLS goes up, it helps pull anything that has liquidity pairing with it, like Teddy Bear or PTGC or the list goes on on that network. That's just the way the liquidity pools work. And that is what we're seeing across the board on Pulse Chain. That's the update, guys. I still think PLSX is going to out continue to outperform PLS and Hex. That's what I'm betting my banks my money on. A, because of the burn functionality, the buyback and burn functionality. B, because we do know that individual pools will be coming soon in this earns drop down here. We have none of them where you're going to be able to stake, solo stake PLSX in order to earn other assets. That's coming at some point. And we do know the farms are still live and a lot of them use PLSX just like they do wrap PLS. So I think PulseX is going to continue out, out to perform like I said. The only way it doesn't is if the pools kind of remain restricted and more farms start being added and they're only paired with the PLS because then people are going to chase the yield in here, uh, especially on the back of the INC price. The higher the INC price goes, the bigger your APRs on all of these farms because that is the reward that you get. The token you earn for all these farms is the INC token. So if this thing continues to outperform like we've seen just here in the last 30 days, 7 days, 24 days, um... That makes those APRs go skyrocket, and that can create FOMO. Now, I wouldn't bank on INC, uh, because you can see why you don't bank on INC. We sold this thing all the way up. with the, As we were farming, we were selling every day, every day, every day, every day, and we continue to sell. We did take a gamble on INC, as you can see right in here. In this area, we wrote it up, and we sold it, and we are no longer in any INC farms. Holding PLS, PLSX, some of the altcoins, heavier in PLSX, obviously, because I've told you, I believe that this is going to be the outperformer. And so far it has 116% to 81% over the past 30 days. That's the update. Love you guys. I'll do more videos for you guys on Pulse Chain. Um, sorry I haven't been as active on it just because I don't trade as much on it because I'm really just holding long these assets. But now that we got action going, now that there's levels to look at, and now that uh, you know all the levels I've drawn have been hitting. I mean, I drew these back in October. And look at them still being critical. Breakout levels. Target levels. And the SEC... A little bit higher, they can suck it.